Hello again, and we're joined here by Dave McAdams, uh, Dr. Dave from the Pittsburgh, yes. Pennsylvania area. Indeed. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Nice to see you again, Chris. Absolutely. Uh, what? Now tell me, which TAM is this for you? Uh, only my second, but now I consider myself a well-seasoned veteran. Aha. Uh-huh. So I yeah. feel good about that. Well, I've run into people that this is their first, some second, yeah. but I've also run into people who have been here at every single TAM. Yeah. We're not here just, at every single TAM. I know. That's so crazy. I can't even imagine. It's been like 12 years, so... Um, look to those guys for guidance and you know they they know how everything runs but um, you know they're I'm having just as much fun as they are I know it so now what prompted you to actually get interested in the whole skeptic movement coming to TAM and other conferences yeah I got um, about seven years ago I kind of decided that I I it was okay for me to say that I didn't believe in God anymore and kind of once I did that I have a huge background in science anyway and so once I did that, I let that take over. And yeah, you're a doctor, and I understand yeah. that doctors have to take science classes. Yeah, a couple here and there. You know, mostly it's about bad handwriting, but you know, there's a couple of science things here and there. But once I did that, I, I just kind of fell into this movement. I mean, you know, I think once you allow yourself to sort of deconvert, which is what happened to me, then you discover all of these things, and you really don't feel alone anymore, and it becomes kind of easier to find find this crowd. Are you are you uh, looking forward to anything specific this weekend? Um, you know, all, I, I just love all the speakers. I love that everybody is so approachable. You can see people like George Rabb, you can see Michael Shermer, you can see Lawrence Krauss, and you can actually just go up to them and say, hey, I'm a big fan, and then you you know, you know, sit down and chat, actually, for a few minutes with them, which is something I, I think you don't get in a bigger community. I look forward to that uh, very much because it's so interpersonal. Look forward to seeing a lot of friends. The lectures, obviously, are going to be great. And, of course, you know, Pendulette's party is tonight, so I'm going to have to put on a nice shirt for that. Lots of bacon and donuts. Absolutely. Now, Can't speaking, live without bacon. Speaking of bacon and donuts and food, you've got an interesting blog. Why don't do, you tell yeah. our uh, viewers what that's all Certainly. about? So I, I have a blog called The Grilled Atheist. So it's at thegrilledatheist.com. Because cooking and atheism just go hand in hand, I, absolutely, right? Absolutely, of course. So, yeah, it's, it's a no-brainer. I, You know, I, I really wanted to, a couple of months ago, sort of just dive into the community more and, and sort of get out there and, and network a lot more and also sort of just say what I'm thinking. And one of the things I really like is um, cooking. So I just decided to sort of marry those two and see how it went. And so far it's been great. So I just throw up and I'm not a professional cook by any stretch of the imagination. But, um, you know, I like to just throw out their sort of instruments, techniques, uh, recipes, um, and just put that out for people and then intersperse it with my thoughts on atheism, skepticism, politics, sort of wherever my brain takes me. Very nice. We'll check them out at thegrilledatheist.com. Dave, thanks for joining us. Have a great time. I appreciate it. Thanks.